I want us to be able to have a proper understanding of the goodness of God. My brother and my sister, appreciate God for the things that he is giving you in this life. But that is not the true goodness of God. These things that you are saying God is good, he is also giving them to people who are not believers, to atheists, to satanists, he's giving them those things. So God gives material things to everybody, but he gives his goodness only to the elect. I want you to have a proper, a sound understanding of what it means to say that God is good. There are people with material riches, but they have not tasted the goodness of God. There are people who have the desires of their hearts. They have good jobs. They are in marriages. They have children. But they have not tested the goodness of God. A true believer, somebody who understands what the goodness of God is, will not look at the material and immaterial things that God has given them and say that I have tested the goodness of God. The true goodness of God is not found in the material and immaterial things that God gives us. It is found in the spiritual riches that God has given to the elect. The goodness of God is not found in the world. It is found in the kingdom of God. It is found in the church of God. It is found among the brethren, the believers, the saints. 